Hey, what's up everybody? Cryptic here. Welcome back to another game development video. In this video, you, you guys will learn about hearts. This is the part two of hearts tutorial. So in this video, what we're going to be learning is how to actually increment and decre decrement the hearts. Uh, so in this the, this part, we'll be actually learning how to actually decrement. In the next video, we'll be learning how to you guys can in increment uh, the hearts. And depending on the hearts, the player will die or not die. So basically, what is happening here is this so you have your you got, got the, you have the player here okay now you hit that as you can see one heart got de deleted one heart got deleted and if you hit this last one all the hearts got de deleted and we got a restart this is basically what we'll be doing it's not hard as you think not simple as you think okay let's get started so over here as you can see the heart health is level four so why is this uh, you'll be learning a little, little bit later on but for now what we'll be doing is adding so if you have like three hearts right over here, well, what do you need to do is just to add a three and then plus one. The one is important, remember that. So if you have like five hearts, it's six, as simple as that, okay? So basically I'm gonna do leave it four. Now, what you need to do is just go down. I have coded here, wait a second. Uh, where is it? Uh, this take damage function, where the heck is that? Oh, there, there we go. So this is basically what e everything here, okay? So basically we have an enemy object, you remember this code, and if an enemy equals to true, it means it's true. What you need to do is just saying getting the enemy object, the main enemy that we collided with, with the collider thing, and remember, we need to take damage, of course, and then we say enemy object dot free. We free that object because, uh, yeah, just don't need to worry about them. Do we? So basically, we just free that object. Okay. You, what you can do in the take damage function? What? Well, uh, man. Okay. What you can do in the take damage function is go ahead and add any screenshot effects uh, if you want. But for now, we don't. So what is going on over here? We have health equals to minus one. So health is four, we minus equals to by one, which is three, and there we go. If health equals to three, we just need to hide it. And then same as if we minus it by one, so health equals to two, we hide it. And if it health equals to one, it means it health just went out. No worries, the health is went out because we started with four, remember? So if it's health out, we just need to get three, get reload kind. It can be a little bit complicated, but it's not that much, okay? So basically what we have is this take damage function. Take the, and let's recap. A take damage is getting away when the enemy is true. And then we just say enemy object dot free. We just free that object, whatever it is in there, whatever it is on there, just go ahead and re 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 release it from the scene. Basically, what is happening is this. In the next video, we'll be, what we'll be covering on is how can I can again increment objects. And yeah, basically it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.